Hello, and welcome to the demonstration of installing the grading turret into the Newport Oriel Instruments Monochromator Spectrograph Base Model MS257. In order to protect the most sensitive part of the instrument during transportation, the turret has been packaged separately from the MS257 housing. This video will walk through the necessary steps to get the quadruple grading turret assembly safely installed and functioning into the MS257. Before we begin the demonstration, it's important to follow the necessary safety precautions as outlined in the user manual. So, we're going to ensure that the MS257 isn't only turned off, but unplugged from a wall outlet as well. Only clean an optical surface inside the instrument by blowing off dust particles with a stream of dry, clean air or nitrogen. Do not allow condensation from talking or breathing to form on the grating. It's also important to keep in mind that gratings can be scratched very easily. The plastic cover should only touch the edges of the grating so as to minimize this from happening. It's important to wear powder-free gloves ensuring that our hands are completely covered. Never touch any optical surface, even when wearing gloves, since this will likely cause irreparable damage. After unpacking and mounting the MS257 in a convenient lab location, we are ready to install the turret. We start by removing the cover of the MS257 and taking note to leave the protective covers on the gratings until the mount has been screwed down. There may also be a metal cover with a warning label installed above the top position of the turret to prevent dust or debris from collecting on the surface. Make sure the grating turret cable is hanging freely on the side of the turret. For the quadruple grating turret, which can accommodate up to four gratings, it's easiest to start by connecting the turret ribbon cable to the terminal behind the drive platform. This connector is keyed, so there's no issue of plugging it in the wrong orientation. Next, position the grating turret on the drive platform by aligning the two captive screws to their mounting holes. Adjust the position of the turret until it locates on the alignment pin and sits flush with the platform. Tighten the two mounting screws by hand, taking care to not over tighten. Now that the turret has been securely mounted, it's time to remove the grating covers. First, the metal cover needs to be removed by using a 332nd Allen wrench. Hold the side of the cover to prevent damage to the grating as the two socket head cap screws are loosened. Once this has been done, it's recommended to remove the grating covers at the top position without touching or scraping the grating surface. You can either use the mono utility software included with the MS257 or the monochromator hand controller model 74009 sold separately to change the grating position. As you rotate through each grating, carefully peel back one side of the tape attaching the cover and remove from the opposite edge. Finally, reinstall the metal cover on top, taking care to not contact the grating surface. With the grating turret successfully installed, now we can reinstall the MS257 cover by tightening all cover screws. After these steps have been completed, we can plug in the power cord and turn on the MS257. We are now ready to begin using the instrument and collect data. As shown in this demonstration, installing the grating turret into an MS257 is a straightforward process. But if you have any questions, feel free to contact us directly.